Next up, we have Charlotte Abigail Smock, and she's nine years old and in the fourth grade. She's been quoting Bible verses since she was two and is now reading the Bible for the third time. Charlotte is developing a letter writing ministry to college students whom she meets while ministering with her parents. Charlotte is going to be reciting Isaiah 53, the atonement. Isaiah 53. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form, nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there's no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. We hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we did esteem him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one into his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? He was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgressions of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him, he hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, but he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. 